What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Ruin Randomer slash Super Juiced. Today guys, we are using a BPL non-rare team. Um, this was one of the most requested teams simply because a lot of the players in this team are actually fucking insane regardless of the... Um, the juicing or not um and but just by the way guys the the whole term like juicing and super juiced and whatever it's really catching on in the community and it's actually really good to see the amount of you guys that link me your teams that you've super juiced um i've got like a whole bunch of teams to come over the next week or so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun playing with some uh, crazy weird teams and juicing them up so that they might actually be worthy in game before we get into the game and into the team guys if you'd like to purchase any fifa ultimate team coins check out utcointraders.com their link is in the description, a very fast and reliable service. And for those that always wonder, that's my chair, by the way. Like, that's not me farting. That's just my chair. It's very squeaky. Um, my dog's back. Uh, he's home with me today. So if you do hear snoring in the background at any stage, I apologize. But he likes to sleep and he likes to snore. But let's get into the team, guys. So we've got Julio Cesar in goal. Diving 99, handling 94, reflexes 99, positioning 97. What a crazy good card that looks like. Then we've got Azpilicueta at right back. 95 pace, 91 pass, 92 defend, good heading, good dribbling, good shooting. He actually looks like a little bit of a god. In defense, in the center back position, we've got Kosciani. 89 pace, not very good shooting, average dribbling, but 96 defending and heading and 82 passing. Very tidy indeed. And David Luiz there is the other center back. Look at that for a card. 93 pace and heading, 92 defending, 86 dribbling and passing and 80 shooting. He's one of the guys I'm going to be looking at in-game to get their in-game stats and have a brief look at him. Then we've got Asu Okoto at left back. 94 pace, 93 defending, 92 passing, 90 uh, sorry, 88 dribbling, 81 heading and 73 shooting. Very nice indeed. Now we've got three Thrench midfielders. Um, and they're all awesome. So first of all, we're going to start with Abu Dhabi, the Arsenal man. 94 pace, 88 shooting and 87 passing, 97 dribbling, 90 heading, 89 defending. And in the 4-3-3, I really like the midfielders to have good defending and heading. So he's got 89 and 90. Then we go to Johan Kabai. He's got 90 and 85 with 89 pace, 91 shooting, 96 pass and 93 dribbling. Very nice indeed. And last but not least, Sissoko, who's got 91 defending and 89 heading, 99 pace, 88 shooting, 85 pass and 90 dribbling. That's actually an insane midfield. Like, really, really strong. Considering how cheap these players are, to have them that good with just an extra 1,000 coins per player... Crazy, just crazy. In the right wing slot, I've gone for Stuart Downing of all people. He's gone juiced up to 93 pace, 92 passing, 95 dribbling, 66 defending and 78 heading, not too great, but 89 shooting. I'm really looking forward to using this card because he only has three star skills. And usually when I play with people that have three star skills, I actually play better with them because I try to do less and just look for what the aim of the game is and that's to get the goals. In at left wing, we've got Chadley. Um, he had... Uh, in form last season I do believe which was four star skills and I can't believe they've downgraded him but look at his card there 91 pace 93 dribbling 88 shooting 89 passing 69 defending and 83 heading a solid left wing card and last but not, not least up front we've got Gibriel Cisse Sissi, Sissé, however you like to pronounce his name, I like to pronounce it Sissé, 99 pace and 91 shooting, 95 heading, 87 dribbling, need I say more, hell no. So we're going to get into the game guys, I've gone for a gold cup match this time, as per usual with these super juiced series, um, by the way I've got two really awesome kits, I really really like this white kit so I'm going to use that. Um, I've picked out a few questions from you guys, basically. Some some questions that you want answered. Okay, so this guy's got a juiced goalkeeper. Look at him. It's catching on. That's a, that's a really nice team. The only problem with that team is his midfield is going to get very, very easily outclassed by mine. Not because of the stat cards, but Jean Martinho gets dead in like after 60 minutes because he's high, high work rates. And um, I, I've never really liked him. He's always caused me massive problems. But... Um, so the first question I picked out, I've got six questions for this episode, a couple of them that might take a bit longer to answer, which is why there's so few. But the first question we've got is from Jack, and Jack says, when are you bringing out FIFA 14 stuff? Basically, there's an embargo on myself and the guys that went to the FIFA event for FIFA 14 content, and the embargo ends on midday on Saturday, basically, so the 7th of September at midday. Um, that's when I'll be bringing out FIFA 14 stuff. I've got a hell of a lot of stuff um, to show you guys. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh my God, he's hit the bar. Um, yeah, I've got a hell of a lot of things to show you guys, so it's going to be uh, pretty damn awesome. I can't wait, and I know like all the other guys that came with me as well, they got... Um, 
they've got some good stuff to show you too. Uh, right, come on, Sissoko. Here they are on the attack again. Oh. Oh, wow, I tried to flip that over to the far post. So, yeah, the answer and the bottom line to that question is the FIFA 14 stuff will be out and around on the 7th at midday. Maybe a little later than midday, depends what time I get up. Um, but probably between midday and 2 o'clock. And um, I also wanted to know how much you guys are looking forward to the uh, FIFA 14 stuff. Obviously, that's a bit of a silly question, but... Um, oh, look at that for some dribble. Oh, oh, I've got it back. Oh, that's a penalty, ref. Ref! Ref! There's an email. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Cheeky. Oh, he's got it back. Go on, Kabai. Smash it. Oh, that's a great tackle. That was a solid, solid tackle. Here we go. Right, anyway, sorry. I'm I'm losing losing my way, losing my mind. Right, let me I need to get onto another question. But uh it's impossible to get onto another question. Whilst you've got the possession of the ball with Gibriel Cisse. Oh my god. I'm just trying to do too much. Right, let's move on to the next question. The next question is from Pat Baston. I thought I said Bateson for a minute there. Does your family know you make videos? And there's another part to the question. If so, have they watched them? Um, yeah, my family now make videos. My mum and dad don't really understand it. Um, they they try to understand, but they don't really get it. They don't understand the the appeal, I suppose. And and a lot of people in general, like a lot of my friends that don't play video games and don't watch videos, they don't understand the appeal either of making videos and talking over them and they they genuinely can't comprehend why people watch them like they sit there and be like well instead of watching someone play wouldn't they just play themselves and um like i i try to explain like maybe like a lot of my subscribers tend to listen to me whilst they're playing themselves rather than um i'll get that um yeah rather than anything else but um in general yes they know they don't watch them no um of course shadley Oh, um, they don't watch them as far as I'm aware. Uh, my girlfriend watches the odd video here or there. Um, my dad likes to think he knows what he's talking about, but uh, he tends to get things wrong and, and highly over-exaggerate uh, what's actually happening. Oh, come on, Downing. Oh, that was almost, almost there, Stuart. Oh, look at that. Dedication. He may not, may not be the best player in the world, but he is dedicated. Oh, this, this guy with his techers. This guy with his tricks. Oh, wow, he's going to break through there. He's got a man over if he just sees him. He did, but I did as well. Oh, my God, he's got the rebound back to him. Oh, David Luiz, those interception stats, too too strong, too good. All right, come on in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, I actually thought that pass would have made it through. Um, yeah, he, he tends to do things wrong. Like, he'll look at my channel, and he'll see that I've got 50, what is it now, like 56 million total views. And um, he'll tell people that I've got 56 million subscribers, and that's just completely not true. And it's it's a little bit embarrassing when you're like, actually, Dad, that's not quite the case. I don't really have that many subscribers, nor does anyone. And you know, if when when probably PewDiePie eventually gets to that high, um, that would be grand and all. But uh, in general, oh crap. Yeah, in general, I don't I don't really think I'll see many people hit that many subscribers. Oh oh, I've hit the bar. Uh, that's a penalty ref. Oh, ref, come on, man. That's two times. Um, oh, look at that. Defense. There we go. That's a ball. Get that, Chadley. Nice. Okay, Asuel Koto, you've probably just cost me a goal there. Ah, my, my defense. I'm very smart with the defending on that one. All right, let's win that header. All right, I really want to get a goal against this guy because he's actually pretty decent. Boom, look at that for a 1-2. And then the strike. Oh, my God. That was awesome. That was actually, actually awesome. Actually or literally. Something like that anyway. Um, that was nice. Look at that for a finish as well. A clean strike to make it 1-0 to class on grass after 34 minutes. I like this team as well, by the way. And I'd, I'd actually enjoy this team without the juiced cards. Um, I really I like the non-rare teams. Uh, and it's actually part of a question that's going to be coming up very shortly too. Um, oh, coming in. He's just he's left me wide open there. Oh, look at that, a rocket. So the next question is from Dion Graham. And uh, Dion asks, if you got given a book and you started reading it and then you realized it was a story of your life, would you read until the end? Um, my, my initial answer was, 
like just instantly like yes I would and I I actually do believe that I would watch it until the end I'd watch it I do believe I would read it until the end um, because I'm I'm super super curious about things like that like if the questions asked like if somebody was going to tell you when you would die and how you would die would you want to be told again I would because like if I were to I don't know like if I were to read a book and it was my life and then in the end it's like oh you die here doing this that and this I could actually change that, you know, like, now I know I can change things. So yes, I would read the book and I'd make the book from fact to fiction. And look at this, Chadley again. He's got a hat trick. He's got a hat trick in about six minutes there. Um, that's some pretty damn awesome stuff. I want to move on to the next question because I have, a, I have a feeling this guy's, okay, this guy has already rage quit. God damn it, man. I had some more questions, so I'm going to have to answer them in another video. I had two uh, two really, really good questions. Um, one of them was about player stats and stuff. Actually, I wanted to see what the guys look like in-game attributes, which I'm not going to be able to do now because the guy rage quit. Um, but Chadley scored that hat-trick. I, I want to see when did he score it. So he scored on 34, 38, and 40. So he scored a hat-trick in six minutes. But not only that, Gibriel Sissi picked one up as well. So I scored on 34... 36, 38, and 40. I can understand why this guy rage quit. Um, this is going to be the end of the video, guys, because the team is no longer juiced and I won the game. It was a very, very good team to play with. I recommend this team highly. Um, even without the juice cards, it, it's pretty decent. Um, the next team I'm going to be juicing up will be something like a bronze team, I think. Um, so uh, maybe a team of tanks, maybe the tallest team, maybe the shortest team. But we're going to get through all the teams that you guys are interested in. But guys, for now, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!